With 90 years old and over 300 compositions, the Brazilian composer Edmundo Villani Cortes talked about his music. He said, a good composer shows competent use of the known vocabulary that everyone understands in order to convey his ideas with clarity. It is not necessary to invent a new vocabulary to be original. He poetically illustrates this idea in the piano by demonstrating his prelude from the five Brazilian miniatures. A sequence of arpeggiated romantic chords creates an atmosphere of contemplative character. Over this harmony, a sad and nostalgic melody emerges from the silence. It gives a feeling of profound longing. The melody unfolds into a descending melodic sequence that conveys an ambience of deep resignation. When this happens, the accompaniment creates a poignant atmosphere Conclusion, the initial melody dissipates and vanishes into silence.
there's no hope this time. As director of research of new species, I must recognize that this planet is headed straight towards self-destruction. What leads you to this tragic conclusion, sir? This dominant species we put out there, they can't harmonize with any other beings, it's obvious. They simply poison every environment they inhabit. But they are a very young species, sir. The planet is running out of time. We too were a very young species once. We needed time to evolve, sir. Everything takes time, sir. Rookie, I respect your enthusiasm. I really do. But they have enough intellectual awareness by now to recognize the problems. Problems that they themselves created and find solutions. They're clearly conscious of the consequences of their But actions. with all due respect, sir, we shouldn't give in to pessimism. Sometimes I wonder if you ever listen to anything I I've say. spent my whole young life listening to you, sir. Centuries listening to you. The new species is gaining awareness of what it must do. The numbers show it. But will they ever do something about it? Maybe they just need more trust from us, sir. It's going too slow. Some of them are very enlightened, we know. They're trying. But they don't have enough power to address all the- sh <laughs> Sir! You just said a That's bad word! That's said I am! Don't you get it? What these few individuals do isn't enough. They destroy way more than they preserve. They drink a very simple formula, H2O, and even though they know it is essential for their survival, they pollute it and poison it, knowingly. They put poison in their own food. Tell me, Rookie, what other species have we put out there that has poisoned its own food? Not a single one, sir. This is a failed experiment! There are Homo sapiens out there discussing this issue right now, sir, all over the planet. Sir, I, I understand your frustration, but we weren't that different from them when we started off. We weren't better than them. I know that, Rookie. You're impossible. Should I take that as a compliment, sir? Whatever, Rookie, whatever. Listen, we gave them autonomy. They think, they write, they have concepts. They can even achieve more than us. Their planet is perfect for life. Every species we have thrown out there has found a way, but this one, all it cares about is money, power and money. And the few enlightened individuals, what happens to them? Put in jail, killed and exiled. It's useless. Sir, have you ever thought of staging a sort of intervention? Like, like we go there and point them in the right direction? Be honest with me, do you think they realize it's for their own good? I'm not sure, sir. Uh, and Rookie, the way they are, I'm not sure it would be wise to reveal our existence. They can find our planet. We are very close. <laughs> and it's been thousands of years since we've had any weapons. How would we defend ourselves? Sir, can I suggest something that could bring some excitement to this dire situation we find ourselves in? What? A bet. Oh yeah, baby, let's go for it, Rookie. This planet is our responsibility, but the solar system isn't the corporation's main concern right now. Am I right? The corporation even talks about cutting our budget and shutting down operations. I'm listening. I'll sign the reboot protocol and... Are we talking? Yes, sir. My dear and beloved. Oh, yes, sir. I'm afraid so. Dinosaurs? We're talking dinosaurs? We're talking dinosaurs, sir. What is happening to my face, Rookie? That's... Ah, that's a smile, sir! You're very happy! <laughs> dinosaurs! I bet that humans will evolve and survive and prevail. They'll survive and find a way. The few who understand what's necessary will be embraced by the rest of humankind and carve a path towards light and wisdom. Oh, Rookie, and to think I was once idealistic like you. They'll die out because they're too smart for their own good. And we reboot. Reboot protocol, my two favorite words side by side. That's the bet. And then we return to my dear and beloved dinosaurs. A project that, by the way, should have never been discontinued. They were very short on arms, sir. <laughs> that is no excuse. Uh, they can never write or create language with those tiny fingers, it sir. It was my first project. Give me a break. Fingers. Fingers are something new. I know, sir. I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> I know, rookie. And what do you want if a miracle happens and you win this bet? 
a dinner at Galactic Star. <coughs> that is a very expensive place. You sure know how to make a bet. Do I feel a shade of doubt in your voice, sir? Don't be sillier than you already are, rookie. I'll have you know that Galactic Star is way overrated. I hate that place. So, do we have a bet, sir? Oh yeah, baby. So let the bet begin, sir.